Good morning, my friends. It is Wednesday, March 17th. It is the feast day of St. Patrick, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, and what I'd like to focus on today is imitation. We're on day 25 of our spiritual spring training and day 73 of Be Formed. And in baseball, you know, I always tried to imitate my favorite ball players. You know, I love Pete Rose and I'd get into his batting stance and uh, I loved Ryan Sandberg and I'd, I'd imitate him. And as Jeff Cavins uh, has spoken, discipleship is all about imitation, about the imitation of Jesus. With that in mind, let's look at this uh, first reading. I'm sorry, the gospel. Jesus says, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. You can just imagine, like I, I was thinking of um, one of my friends says when, when his dad would cut the grass, he would have a, like a, a plastic lawnmower following his dad, just in imitation of his dad. Uh, Jesus says that I've come to do the will of the Father. All that I do is what I've seen the Father do. Jesus told his disciples, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And uh, on a related note, if I can use a sports analogy again, I want to encourage parents to set that great example. Uh, I remember having a conversation with parents, you know, who said, you know, I'm going to let my child decide on their faith. I'm not going to force faith on them. I'm not going to take them to church. They can decide when they get older. But as I looked at the, the child, he was decked out in, in a Cubs uniform. And I said, it doesn't seem like you're waiting until they're old enough to become Cub fans, right? Uh, you're indoctrinating them at a young age. And so it's okay as parents to set an example, to set the groundwork. My parents were Christians, but we didn't go to church growing up. And I became a priest, but that's, uh, that's probably not the, uh, not the best way to approach it. It's just by God's grace. And God can do anything. But I also know people who, whose parents really laid the foundation for them. And it's been the bedrock. It's been the source of their strength uh, during their entire lifetime. Because this is important stuff. Listen to what Jesus says. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, a resurrection from the dead. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. This isn't, this isn't a game. You know, we, we kind of use the analogy of, of baseball and spring training, but this game of life is real. And what we do on earth prepares us for eternity. Keep that in mind as we think about St. Patrick. I don't know if you know about his background, but he was, um, he was born and raised in, in, in Britain, and he was, he was kidnapped, and he was enslaved and taken to Ireland. And he was a slave in Ireland until one day he was able to escape and return to his family in England. Eventually, he became a priest, and what does he do? He wants to go back to Ireland to evangelize the people that had enslaved him. You talk about a zeal for souls. He had come to know the Lord so well that he wanted to give everything for him. And now millions of people have followed the example of, of St. Patrick. And to this day, you know, I know we joke and St. Patrick's Day is kind of known for its parties and green beer and green river in Chicago. But St. Patrick was a man of God who, who just had a zeal for souls. And wouldn't it be amazing if we imitated him, not only today, but every day of our lives, that we came to know this love of God that Isaiah talks about. Can a mother forget her infant? There's probably no greater love on earth than we experience than our mother's love. Uh, can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. God loves us more than we can possibly imagine. He wants that love to permeate our hearts so deeply that it transforms us, that we get the same zeal that St. Patrick had, that we want to go out and share this with the world. Because, again, the stakes are pretty serious. Will we and our children rise to the resurrection of life? Or will we rise to the resurrection of condemnation? And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the life of St. Patrick. We thank you for your unconditional love for us. 
help us to know how serious this, this life is because it prepares us for all eternity. Help us to have that zeal for you and to help others come to know you as we have. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and have a blessed day, everyone. Have a great St. Patty's Day. Go Irish.